maybe I'll start off with first talking about how there's been a lot that's been said about, you know, the death or failure of the plant-based meat space. And um, I think what's been, you know, I have a lot of thoughts on that discourse, but I think one thing is true is that, you know, there's been a big, there's still a big market opportunity that hasn't quite been captured. You know, I think there's still a lot of people out there who, you know, want, are looking to eat less meat. Oh, how does this clicker work? Like this? There we go. Um, there's still a lot of people out there who want to eat less meat, but you know the current plant-based um, offerings on the market haven't really um, been able to capture a lot of those consumers out there. Um, and you know, I think for a lot of us in this, you know, in this room who have maybe tried a lot of the products, um, I think there's some you know obvious answers to why, right? So I think taste, as Michael was saying, is a big one. You know, people just aren't really willing to compromise, um, you know, for sustainability, for ethics, you know, whatever it is, um, if the products don't taste good. Um, and then I think the second piece is also health. You know, I think. <laughs> Fairly or unfairly, uh, I think a lot of, you know, plant-based has been kind of tarnished with a reputation of ultra-processing um, and things like that. Um, so at Mission Barnes, our answer is, you know, how do we make alternatives that are, you know, more healthy and also tastier for people? Um, and, yeah, our answer to that is around cultivating fat. So using cultivated fat, so growing real animal fat um, without, uh, without animals, using cell culture um, that's more sustainable. Um, and using that as a functional flavoring ingredient for alternative protein. So the benefits of the ingredient are kind of threefold. So number one, um, fat is flavor. So anyone who's ever had like a delicious kind of Wagyu steak knows that, you know, the fat is where like all that delicious umami flavor from meat comes from. So what we find is by being able to add just a small amount of fat um, as a flavoring ingredient, we can actually make a really big kind of sensory improvement on the product's taste. And then the second thing that I think is really exciting is actually the health angle. So the benefit of being able to produce fat using cell culture is that you can actually really easily tweak the nutritional composition of the fat. So if you're thinking about the holy grail of something that tastes like bacon but has the health benefits of salmon or fish oil, we can do that. We can put tons of omega-3s, we can reduce the saturated fat content, we can reduce the trans fat um, and add all sorts of cool brain health beneficial lipids into the fat that goes into your bacon or meatballs. Um, and so that's one really exciting benefit. And then the third is being able to, you know, just make more functional, like make the products more functional. So, you know, when we sometimes look at plant-based ingredients, there's a lot of um, additional quote unquote scary ingredients that get added to, you know, add binding, add stability into the product. Um, but the benefit of, you know, animal protein, animal fats is a lot of that functionality around binding and stabilization is already there. So you get a shorter ingredient label, you're getting healthier fats, and you're getting a more tasty product. Um, and when we've done consumer taste tests of our product, so when we've taste tested you know, a product with our fat ingredient compared to a conventional meat version of the product, and then you know, whatever the best-selling plant-based product in that category is, what we found is um, actually 70% of the consumers preferred our product compared to whatever the leading plant-based is. Um, and then more excitingly, when we've given them, you know, a conventional version and our version, we talk about taste parity a lot, but we got, you know, 50% of the group actually preferring ours to the conventional meat. Um, and, you know, for, that, for us, it really kind of highlights that with just a little bit of fat as a flavoring ingredient, you can actually deliver a lot on taste. So um, that's been really exciting. And more recently, we just got FDA and USDA approval for our first products. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> was an ordeal. Uh, uh, if anyone wants to age 10 years in two years, I recommend applying to the FDA. Um, but uh, yeah, really exciting. Got it earlier this year. We've just launched our first products in food service. So if anyone's headed to San Francisco, um, you can check out our products there. And then about to launch in retail later this month as well. Um, and we'll also be having our products at the reception tonight. So if you uh, would love to hear any feedback and if anyone's interested in Mission Fat, the ingredient, um, would love to talk to you about that as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Cecilia. That was great.